This is where the attack happened, in the town of Hawara in the occupied West Bank. Two brothers from a nearby illegal Israeli settlement were shot while driving in a car. Israeli forces say they're looking for Palestinian suspects. Authorities immediately set up temporary checkpoints and closed existing ones in the area just south of Nablus. Unfortunately, the terrorists continue to attack innocent Israelis. We will not be silent. We will do everything in our power to protect our citizens. We will make sure that the Israelis will be able to live safely here in the land of Israel. Shortly after the shooting, Israeli settlers in nearby areas burned down several Palestinian homes. Many have been injured since. Israel's new far-right government has approved the expansion of thousands of new illegal settler homes, it says, in response to this year's attacks. Sunday's shooting happened while a U.S. brokered meeting was being held in Jordan between Israel and the Palestinian Authority, along with Egypt and Jordanian officials. It concluded with their commitment to de-escalating tensions by preserving the status quo at Al-Aqsa Mosque compound and both sides stopping one-sided measures for several months, including Israel's building of new illegal settlements in the occupied West Bank. But just hours later, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu denied the freezing of any settlement construction. During Sunday's cabinet meeting, Israeli leaders promised to fast-track a bill that will allow the courts to impose the death penalty for offences including attacks on Israelis. One of many expedited measures being brought in by Israel's far-right government that is showing no sign of working towards a two-state solution with the Palestinians. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem. Mustafa Barghouti is the Secretary General of the Palestinian National Initiative. He says Israeli settlers are behaving like armed gangs and they have the backing of the Israeli government. In uh, the whole town of Hawara, we had uh, at least 110 people injured so far. Some were stabbed, some were shot at, uh, some were uh, I mean, beaten, and uh, several homes were, were burned. Uh, fires are still going on around the city, around the town and inside it. Uh, and uh, it's like it's a vicious fascist attack. The only way I can describe it is that this is the behavior of fascist gangs who are the Israeli settlers, protected and supported by the Israeli army. This is something we've never seen before. And it is clear now that the settlers themselves are sitting in the most important positions in the Israeli government, including Smotrich, who is a settler who has become now in charge of the West Bank uh, and the Israeli army here, as well as Ben Gvir, who has been classified before as a terrorist. And he is now the minister of internal security in charge of police. So uh, the fate of Palestinians are in the hands of illegal settlers. They're simply shooting and attacking people left and right. And uh, they are loose completely. The Israeli army is doing nothing to stop them. And uh, the, even after the meeting in Aqaba, all we hear now are statements from Netanyahu and uh, the prime minister of Israel and others that they will not respect what was agreed upon.